Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at some of the basic page layout features of Pages. So most people think of Pages as a word processor, but it can also be used to do desktop publishing. Let's look at some of the basics. So here's the one big thing that you need to know. When you start Pages up, you get a template user. Now it's very important what you do here. At the top are word processing templates. If you choose one of these, you're going to get this backdrop of a basically large text box on every single page. You don't want that if you're doing page layout. What you want to do is go below to page layout and in our case choose blank and you'll see it changes to blank canvas here and you can choose landscape or vertical. Let's choose a vertical layout. So now we have a canvas to work on instead of a page. You can click anywhere you want. There's no place to enter text. So you're going to start by adding elements. They're along the top here. We can add a text box. Just click on it and you'll get this text area here. So we can type in the text box and I select outside of it and select inside of it again and you can see the dots that go around the outside. That means it's draggable, it's stretchable. I can do all sorts of different things to change this text box. So I'm going to put this here as a title for my page. And then I can use some of the regular uh, text editing stuff. I'm going to bring up with Command T the text inspector here. And uh, I can increase the font size, uh, make it bold. Um, I'm going to dismiss that. And I'm also going to center it. There. So I've got a title. Now, next, I'm going to drag some pictures. I've got some pictures here on the desktop. I'm just going to drag them directly in. Once I drop a picture in, I can grab the handles and resize it. Put it right about there. Now I want to have some text next to it. So I'm going to add another text box and click outside of it, click back inside of it to select it. And then I'll have some text here. I have a sample text document. I'm going to open up in text edit here and paste some sample text in. Now let's continue. Let's say I want to add this other image here. Perfect. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to shrink it just a little bit. And one of the things you can do in Pages is have text flow from one text box to another because you can see there's more text in here. I'm going to create another text box. Click outside of it, click in it again, and put it here. And I want the text to continue in this text box. The way I'm going to do that is get it to the size I want. I'm going to select the first one, hold the shift key down, select the second one, then go to Format text box, link select text boxes. Now you can see a line drawn there and the text flows from one to the other. I'm going to add one more text box here and add a caption to a picture. And you can see I can continue from there. I can add borders to these by going into the inspector, selecting the graphic inspector, changing the stroke to a picture frame, and choosing the type of picture frame. You can continue the text from one page to the next. Simply insert a page. You want to do a blank page after this. You can see it there. I can insert a text box and put it over here. And I'm going to Flow the text. Here's the bottom of this text box. Let's stretch it to go to the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to shift and select this text box on the next page and go format text box link. And there I go. So you can see now the, the flow of the text by the blue lines. You can also group items together. So for instance, I want to group this caption with the photo here. So if I decide to move it, it will move as one unit. And do that under arrange and I can group. And now it's a single object that I can move around. So there are some of the very basics for getting started doing page layout in Pages. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos 
by category.